Hello and welcome to Outside the Box Soaps. Uh, today I am going to be making a hanger swirl soap and the fragrance that I'm using is called Pure Seduction. It is really very nice. It's a mixture of uh, musk, florals, apple, and citrus and it is a dupe for Victoria's Secret uh, Pure Seduction and it smells really nice. So since it was a pure seduction bar, um, I was looking for inspiration for colors and I uh, came across a picture of the passion flower. Um, this is a flower that I happen to really like. I actually have them growing. They're planted outside. Um, they come in a lot of different varieties. Uh, this is the one that I actually have outside. So I thought I would go with passion flower hues since it fits this pure seduction thing. All right, so my oils and butters, I have coconut oil, olive oil, apricot kernel oil, aloe vera oil, castor oil, shea butter. And everything is in the 80s temperature wise. So we're going to get started and we are going to hope we don't have any surprises. And I am actually going to strain my lye water because I did put some silk in here. And I'm also trying some sodium lactate which uh, tends to give you a harder bar that is longer lasting in the shower. So we'll see how that works out because unfortunately it can also accelerate trace. And <clears throat> excuse me, I don't want that to happen today because I'm going to be trying to do a swirl. So let's gently try to get these things, these oils all incorporated and emulsified and all that good stuff. So again, I'm going to just very gently <laughs> try to get all of this stuff incorporated. Don't want to do anything to thicken it prematurely. It should be a um, should be a cooperative batter, but we will see. And part of the problem is that. Uh, because I'm new to this, a lot of the uh, fragrances and the recipes that I'm trying out are new. So, I don't really know how they're going to react until I get actually in the thick of it. Alright, so it appears to be emulsified to me. I'm not seeing any new colors really coming up when I blend. So I think that I'm going to get started here with mixing in my colors. And uh, for the base, I'm doing something that's a little risque. I'm gonna my base is gonna be a very dark purple. And then I'm going to be adding some other colors. I have a light green, I have a white, uh, and I've got titanium dioxide in there, just a touch of purple. And then I also added some ivory lace sparkle mica powder. And then this is an orchid. So let's see how these all go. And once we get our colors poured, then we will go to fragrance. Okay, so what I've added into the major part here is a matte purple liquid pigment. Um, I want to get that, I want to get a nice dark purple. 
and that's not quite the color that I was hoping to get. So I think, I think I'm going to let that one go for a sec. Then I'm going to go into my white. And then into my light green. And then into this orchid sort of color. Okay, so let's get the fragrance incorporated before I forget it, as I have been known to do so. And most of it will go in here. A little bit here. A little bit here. A little bit here. And the rest right back into that pot. And I'm going to see if I can do something with this color because I'm not pleased with it at all. So I'm going to add a lot more pigment to it and just hope and pray that it doesn't freeze up on me. Let me give me that a blast. And I'm not sure what's going on. The, um, the color's looking a little grainy. I see some little pieces of color. Still not very happy with it, but I'm going to pause you and see if I can do something better with this color. Be right back. Okay, so we're back. So what I did here, just in case you ever run into this issue, is I, I added some uh, ultraviolet blue colorant, and I did get that darker purple that I wanted. Um, my other uh, orchid color... Not quite the way I want it, but uh, we're going to have to make do at this point. So, all right, we are ready to pour. So I'm going to put a lot of the base color into the bottom of my mold. Let's get that mold into view here for you. And I'm just going to let me bang that down. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, next, I think I am going to use the white just to get it. Uh, Give it a little bit of contrast. Pour up high because we want this to go down to the bottom layer. Okay. Next, I am going to take this, what was going to be orchid is now a pink, but I think it will still work. And then I have this very light green that I really liked to um, kind of blend in with, again, the colors of that passiflora, that, um, that passion flower. Okay, so let's get a bit more of the base in there. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'm going to go again with my starting to thicken up. So let me stir it. And since we're swirling, I think um, they will get mixed in. Uh, it's not going way down, but that's okay. And I'm going to leave the rest of that for the top. Then I'm going to take these, the uh, pinkish color next. Okay, and then the green. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is put a uh, layer of my base color just over. Um, oh, actually, I think I want to swirl it first. So why don't we get swirling? All right, so my hanger is right here. Okay, so we're going to take the hanger, going to put it down in the center. Going to push up towards me, and then I am going to start to do circles. And I'm doing circles at different levels within this. So I'm hoping I may have done enough circling in there. I'm a little hesitant to do some more. Maybe just right here and do a couple and bring that up. And we will see how that goes. So now I'm going to put a layer of my color, my base color, right on top. So it will be sort of a buffer between all of those other colorful um, pieces that are in there, parts that are in there. Make sure we get the corners. Don't want to leave those behind. All right. Excuse me a sec while I uh, while I bang down. And make sure that I get as many air bubbles as I can out of this. And honestly, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to get the swirl I'm going for. It did get a little bit thick, uh, probably because I had to spend some extra time with colorants. But let me just give it a bang. Okie dokie, so we're all banged down. Now, I'm going to take what I've got left in my cups and... Uh, just plop some on the top so that we can make a nice decorative top here. So rather than bore you because this takes a while, I'm going to pause and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so here we are. I uh, got all of those bits, last bits of soap out of the cups and piled it all on top banged it down once or twice just to give it a nice uh, it was a little thick and I want to make sure that we don't get a lot of air bubbles because they really don't like those so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to um, sculpt this top a bit 
and it is just I love this perfect sculpting consistency um, I don't like it when stuff gets firm when I don't want it to but at the end of the process and when I'm making tops like this I just love it when it, it gets um, so, sorry that's Ruby I just love when it gets to this consistency because it's very easy to manipulate with a spoon you can do a lot of um, you can do a lot of nice kind of circling and swirling and you get some beautiful peaks and what I'd really like to do is get more of those colors in I know there's just a lot of purple left um, so maybe I can move some of this around a bit but we know there's lots of color inside so uh, that will come out in the cutting and there will be a nice uh, mixture of all of these colors in the bar so the very last thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add some glitter and because this is pure seduction fragrance I have decided I'm gonna add some jet black glitter actually I'm having a little bit of an issue with it it's it's coming out of my tea ball much faster than I'd like it to so it looks like it's a little bit finer than some of the other glitters so let me see if I can do a better job by taking off my glove and just sort of doing it with my fingers that's much better so I'm not getting it um, all over the place because I don't want it all over the place and I'm sorry about Ruby in the background she is barking because there is a dog out front that's barking and she thinks it's her job to compete <laughs> so uh, we're trying to keep her keep her calmed down uh, as best I can but hey barking happens and when you have pets uh, that's part of the deal I just don't have a soaping room um, that is completely removed from any of my my uh, from the rest of my house all right so there is the jet black glitter I kind of like that and then I'm going to use some uh, Brambleberries iridescent because I know that doesn't um, sneak through <laughs> the little holes that handles pretty well with a t-ball so here we go and I think I am finite with this soap so here it is um, how the swirls turned out remains to be seen I will gel this and cut it and then I will definitely post some pictures so thanks again as always for joining uh, and hope that you enjoy watching the process and uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one okay have a great day